Next week we get a new Batman film. So leading up to its release, I'm reviewing all the previous Batman films. And we're looking at 1995's Batman Forever, directed by Joel Schumacher and starring Val Kilmer, Chris O'Donnell, Tommy Lee Jones, and Jim Carrey. After Batman Returns led to a lot of parental backlash due to the film's violent and gritty nature, this one decided to go a bit more child-friendly, a bit lighter in tone, a bit more cartoony, all for the purpose of selling merchandise. In fact, the first line in this movie is Alfred saying to Batman, Can I persuade you to take a sandwich with you, sir? With Batman replying, I'll get drive through which is weird and out of place, and was only included so it could be used in all the commercials for whatever fast food place was promoting the movie at the time. Now, while I don't think this film is entirely unwatchable, it does have a few issues. For one, the casting. Jim Carrey as the Riddler. The Riddler in the comics is an intelligent individual who believes he's just as smart, if not smarter, than Batman. He's sophisticated, he's elaborate, he's complex, he's dangerous. What we get with Carrey's portrayal is, well, basically himself in a costume. He gives no subtlety or intelligence to his performance. Luckily, there's Tommy Lee Jones as Two-Face to balance this out. While Jones' performance is also a bit cartoony, you can still see the intelligence of the man under the persona. You can tell he's a damaged individual. And then we get Chris O'Donnell as Robin, one of the biggest and most baffling miscasts I can think of. He was in his mid-twenties when this came out, and while getting someone in their 20s to play a teenager isn't always a bad thing, Tom Holland being a recent example of this, O'Donnell just isn't believable as a teenager. He's a 20-something who looks like a 30-something who's trying to play a teenager convincingly, and we're supposed to believe he's untrained and helpless, and it really does not work at all. Now, the film does have its entertaining moments. It's fun to see Batman solving riddles, and the action does have a sense of fun as well, but the film's baffling casting choices make this one one of the odder Batman flicks. I don't hate it, it just needed better casting choices and perhaps a better director. So overall, I would give Batman Forever a B-7.5 out of 10 and a 3 out of 5 stars.